most people realize, particularly in the state of Virginia. My guest is Virginia reckless driving attorney Bob Battle, and he has written a consumer guide entitled The Shocking Truth About Reckless Driving and Speeding in Virginia. So Bob, thanks for being here today. It's great to be here, Cindy. Well, Bob, tell me about this book and what the shocking truth is. I'm kind of curious. Well, I represent a lot of people from other states, and, and I grew up in Northern Virginia, so I know what they do in Maryland, what they do in Washington, D.C., and what in other states is just a routine speeding ticket, a minor traffic infraction. In Virginia is actually a criminal misdemeanor charge. So in Virginia, anything above 20 miles or more above the speed limit or anything above 80 at any speed, so 81 to 65, uh, you know, 65 and a 45, can and will be charged as reckless driving speeding, which is a class one criminal misdemeanor. And what, and what does that mean? Well, it means, it means most people are familiar with the traffic ticket that sure. after so many years the points come off. Right. Well, criminal record is not state specific. So what it means is if you're convicted of this charge, you have a permanent criminal record. So if you ever have to fill out on a job application oh or a security clearance that you have a record, you have to answer yes, I've been convicted of a class one criminal misdemeanor, and that is the most serious of the misdemeanor offenses, class okay. one. So, so what is the answer? In, in other words, I imagine that the average person, as you've kind of noted with that example, the average person probably doesn't realize that this is something they now need to put on job applications and other things. So if they don't realize the seriousness, then my guess is they don't get lawyers as they should or as often as they should. That's right, and that's why I've written the book. That's yeah. why, you know, I try to post it uh, on the internet, on newsletters I send out wherever I can uh, just to get the word out to people because the reality is that for most people if you even got a decent record uh, you know if you're below 90 some some jurisdictions below 95 if you hire a lawyer uh, the lawyer usually can, can work the case out and one thing that uh, I try to stress and actually there was a Baltimore Sun article written about my book and uh, the person who wrote that you know, said as well that in a lot of places prosecutors aren't willing to plea bargain with someone who shows up without a lawyer. And the reality is most of the areas I practice in, um, which most of them are huge speed traps, they're very good when you get there talking to the prosecutor, uh, the police officer, the judge about working something out that reduces it from reckless driving. And the other, if there is any good news of this for people to, when they find out how serious it is, usually the person doesn't even have to come to court. Well, Bob, how can someone get a hold of this guide you've written? If you go to my website, which is bobbattlelaw.com, uh, right on the website you'll see that um, there's, you know, very prominently uh, a picture of the book and just says you fill out the form. And once they fill out the form in the book, it'll be sent to them as a free ebook download. So it'll be sent to them instantly. It's free. As I said, this is such important information that mm -hmm. people need to know and can have such a devastating effect on their future. I talked about the one person uh, you know, who lost a, and you know, this is a job, this is a six-figure job. Talked to another young woman um, a couple months ago who a year ago just paid a ticket in Virginia. She was a uh, Ivy League student at the time uh, and was subsequently admitted into medical school. Well, she paid this ticket. 21 days later becomes a final judgment under Virginia law. A year later, after being accepted into medical school, uh, they do a routine criminal background check, and this medical school had a zero tolerance policy, meaning it doesn't make any difference that this speeding ticket wouldn't have been a criminal offense in her state, uh, where she was from, or any other state but Virginia. She has a permanent criminal record she got her medical school acceptance rescinded. Mm. So I got to assume that there's some medical school she'll get into eventually, but at least with what doctors make, and that puts her a year back on track, she starts the process all over again. So this is a $100,000, you know, I got to assume she'll be starting at least $100,000 as a doctor down the road. So it's a $100,000 mistake by not getting an attorney because yeah. I know her record, know the jurisdiction, and know my track record that you know, it's almost you know, a certainty in that area that I could have gotten a reduced to a traffic infraction. Mm. You know, let me ask you one more question because you said this only, this really relates just to Virginia. 
why, why it, it seems so unfair. Number, I mean, first of all, why do you think Virginia stands out as being so, uh, you know, stringent? And secondly, do you see any prospects of the laws changing? Well, the first thing, I think it's really a monetary issue. And, you know, if you talk to politicians, you don't even need to talk to politicians. You need to look at the state budget. A couple of years ago, in the state budget, and I've reported this on my blogs and my website, in the budget, there was a figure of $100 million, $100 million that they expected to collect in fines and court costs from traffic cases. Oh, my word. So this is, you know, what Virginia is doing to try to offset a lot of the budget deficit. So mm. it is a big money-making thing, and obviously the penalty range for a criminal Class One misdemeanor can be up to a $2,500 fine. So really, it's always been a money-making thing. And you talk about the laws changing. Well, the laws are changing, but not for the better. Because basically, what happens on July 1, 2010, just you know, very short time from when we're recording this, right. is that Virginia has changed the speed limit from 65 to 70 miles per hour. And I know most people think, well, that's good. You can go faster in Virginia. Well, here's the catch. It is still reckless driving speeding for anything above 80 miles an hour. So 81 and a 70 mile an mm -hmm. hour speed, and speed limit is now reckless driving speeding. And so a mere 11 miles over the speed limit, and as sort of the general public, the general perception is that you get 10 miles per hour. That, that that's sort of, the, and Virginia really, as a matter of fact, generally you get nine miles an hour. Virginia has three categories of point offenses. There are three point offenses, four point offenses, and six point offenses. And speeding one to nine is a three point offense, 10 to 19, four, 20 or above, or reckless driving at any speed is six. So the police officers very rarely charge the one to nine. But the problem is all those people who think you get 10 miles, if they happen to be you know, creeping over that, and the police sit I know this, I used to be a prosecutor. They yeah. sit in the areas where they know where people tend to increase their speed. They sit on downhill areas. They sit on long open areas after, you know, a, the city like Richmond or Petersburg or up in Northern Virginia where they know people will finally traffic will open up. So those people doing 11 miles an hour over are going to be snagged with this new law. So what we will see come July 1 is just a ton of extra people. You know, the average speed, once it changes to 70, is probably going to be 80 miles an hour. Right. So we are just going to be seeing a ton of people who otherwise wouldn't have been in that range when it was a 65 mile an hour speed limit, who now are going to find themselves charged with reckless driving mm. speeding. Wow, serious stuff. Well, Bob, uh, you know, thank you so much for being with us today. Sure. And uh, just repeat that website one more time. Sure. It's Bob Battle Law, www.bobbattlelaw, B-O-B-B-A-T-T-L-E-L-A-W.com. Very good. Thanks so much for being here. It's my pleasure, Cindy. Okay. Until next time, this is Cindy Speaker for State Law TV.